This brilliant brother's name is George Carruthers, who was born on October 1st, 1939 in Cincinnati, Ohio. He was the oldest of the four children his parents George and Sophia Carruthers had. His father was a civil engineer in the U.S. Army Air Corps, and he supported his son's early interest in science. By the age of 10, young George had constructed his own telescope with cardboard tubing and mail-order lenses he bought with money he earned as a delivery boy. Two years later, his father died, and the family moved to Chicago where his mother, Sophia, began to work for the U.S. Postal Service. Despite this major setback, George continued to pursue science. He was one of a few black students who competed in the Chicago high school science fairs and became a victor three times. One of those times, he took home the first prize for the telescope he designed and built. In 1957, George graduated from Chicago's Inglewood High School and participated in the engineering program at the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana campus. As an undergraduate, he focused on aerospace engineering and astronomy. He earned his bachelor's degree in physics in 1961. He decided to continue his education at the University of Illinois and earned his master's degree in nuclear engineering in 1962. He went on to receive his PhD in aeronautical and astronautical engineering in 19. In the same year he earned his doctorate, he went on to work for the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory as a National Science Foundation postdoctoral fellow. In 1966, he became a full-time research physicist at the NRL's EO Hurlburt Center for Space Research. On November 11, 1969, George Carruthers was awarded a patent for his image converter for detecting electromagnetic radiation, especially in short wavelengths. And get this, in a 1970 rocket flight, George George's UV telescope and spectrograph and image converter provided the first proof of the existence of molecular hydrogen in interstellar space. Wow. George's invention was used on April 21st, 1972, during the first lunar walk of the Apollo 16 mission. For the first time, scientists were able to examine the Earth's atmosphere for concentrations of pollutants and see UV images of more than 550 stars, nebulae, and galaxies. George was awarded NASA's Exceptional Scientific Achievement Medal for his work on this project. In the 1980s, one of George's inventions captured the ultraviolet image of Halley's Comet. In 1991, he invented a camera that was used in the space shuttle mission. George later extended his efforts to education. He helped create a program called the Science and Engineers Apprentice Program, which was designed to give high school students the opportunity to work at the Naval Research Laboratory. In 1996 and 97, he taught a course in Earth and Space Science for DC Public Schools science teachers. In 2002, George started teaching a course on Earth and Space Science at Howard University. In 2000. In 2003, George was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame for his work in science and engineering. In 2013, Dr. George Robert Carruthers was awarded the Medal of Technology by the first black president, Barack Obama. Dr. George Robert Carruthers would pass away on December 26, 2020 in Washington. Thank you, brother, for your brilliant contributions.